Hey guys, we are here for a belated uh, yeah, August pickups. It's, it's almost very belated. through September, but um, yeah. we, but we have them uh, like to the show you now. In September, so we've been slacking a yeah. little bit. Yeah, who knows when this is going to upload? So. It's because we've been so busy, and yeah. you'll just have to keep watching to find out what we've been up to. Yes, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to show. We say this every month, but like, wow, we just found so much. But you've seen some of the garage sale videos where we found some good things, um, and then we have once again some generous friends who have either given us some nice gifts or have given us great prices on some stuff so stay tuned and we'll show you what we got so our uh, friend Ed he actually was purging his game collection on Facebook he put a post up saying that if anybody wanted hey I'm selling stuff yeah who First wants dibs. stuff before I put on eBay etc yeah. um couple so. things caught our eye um one of which we'll show you in the slew of pictures um that we'll present later um one thing in particular uh I didn't have now I do um to add to my Zelda collection well we had the game yes and we, we had, had the base game yep the cable um what we didn't have was the box I know it's just a box. It shouldn't be a big deal, but you know, especially with certain series that I love, especially Legend of Zelda, I want to complete everything. Mm -hmm. um, and this was just, you know, another thing to check off the list. And that is the Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures um, game. Yeah. So this is now complete. It has the box. Um, I'm going to show you the close up of this uh, sticker. I think it's from Comp USA. You can see it was originally bought for twenty bucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of funny. I love seeing stuff like that. I know. I kind of hate it because I'm like, shit, how am I going to get that sticker off? But it's kind of nice, like, yeah, you know, it's time cool capsule to see the history type, of of, it. type of thing. But finally have that complete. Yep. And it's in pretty good shape. I mean, there's a few little sticker marks and then there's that sticker on the front, but it's in relatively it great loved. shape. It's, and uh, one thing that's cool is, like Megan mentioned, we had the game um, and we had the cord. But Ed also threw in the plastic he still had. From the around the cable, so that's extra complete. Things yeah. that only collectors really care about. Yeah, and then you know. um, the like safety instructions or whatever it is. Gotta have those. So it really is truly complete. Um, and the game that we had already had all the manual and inserts and stuff. So. And look, it even has the security tag on the inside. Makes it super rare. So if you walk through doors, <laughs> a little. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great addition to the Zelda and GameCube collection. So thanks, Ed. So, as you faithful viewers know, and if you're a newcomer, you will find out now, uh, Megan and I, every month, like to add more Atlas titles, if we can, to the collection. We really like that publisher. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of ours. I know not all of the games on Ooh, Atlas yeah. are, like, super amazing, fantastic, but there's something about the games that they, they come out with that are just... Mm -hmm. And looking at the ones cool. we got this month... Everyone is good, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, start off with a big one. We actually just got the uh, first one um, last month, I believe, or the previous pickups video. Um, we got it from our buddy Ryan, Retro Rye Guy on YouTube. And uh, this one, you may have seen in uh, the road trip video when our friends uh, Chris and Johnny Lake came in town uh, that lake luck that uh, spread for the garage <laughs> sale or in the morning it's kind of an inside joke got this uh, for, yeah, the, yeah the hashtag um, <laughs> got this uh, for a dollar at the garage sale and actually Johnny got it first but I got a game that I already had for a dollar and we just did a swap right there at the garage sale and that's Snowboard Kids 2 which for is so good yeah one dollar and we'll obviously want to complete this uh, for N64 for actually the first two we want to complete but, but for now but it was a dollar one dollar and these games are so fun I didn't really play them back in the day I rented one once but I remember like the reviews were kind of middle of the road but it's really awesome it's like Mario Kart and snowboarding but it's time. Alice and it was a dollar it was a dollar dollar make you holla and then that same trip... I did that. I'm sorry. Dollar, make you <laughs> we actually got a lot of them on that same trip. Um, that same trip, we got uh, Widget for the Not NES. Super Widget. Widget. Which we had. We got Super Widget last year, I believe. Yes. Um, and this is the original Widget. I haven't played this one yet, um, but I know this one's supposed to be a pretty decent uh, NES platformer. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. And yep, as you can see, Atlas. And um, then kind this one... a quirky little game. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I like it. <laughs> now, I've been looking forward to playing this one for a while. It looks really cool and has some 
old school arcadey gameplay to it, and I uh, almost wanted to get it at too many games, and that is called Trap Gunner, another great PS1 game for the collection, love collecting for PS1, and uh, it's in really good shape, in fact, really good shape, and it has a girl with big jugs on the back of the manual, and uh, a very cool well disc art. endowed. Very well endowed. And actually, just really cool Rusty. art all the way through. And that's another thing about Atlas games. A lot of times, they have really cool box art. and um, oh, I mean, I think a lot of that is com comes from the fact that it does very Eastern, Japanese-style games. And there's a lot of cool anime and other and kind of And a styles. lot of very well endowed, endowed. rusty, Breasties. bodacious <laughs> women. <laughs> I mean, there's no getting around it. Maybe that's why you like Atlas so much. Caught me. <laughs> <laughs> and now this one is actually something else we got from our oh, friend yes. Ed that we mentioned earlier. Yes. We I, got the first one. The first one I got from uh, Frank at Forgotten Freshness for super cheap. Um, always wanted to get the second one. Noticed Ed was selling it, and I was like, ooh, I want that too. And that's Touch Detective, not two, but it's like one and a half. No, it's two. Oh, it's two, two and, and a half. half. Yeah. Sorry. Goof that up. I but... always thought it was Touch Detective. One half. Yeah, I I think Until I'm Ed pointed it out. probably gonna start playing these um, very soon because I'm kind of in the mood for one of those like yeah point touch and detective click. like yeah. you know, point and click kind of kind of games. Um, plus, I don't know. Both. I need to know what this mushroom guy. Oh about. yeah, that I remember. There was like worst box art. Uh, articles and a lot of times that this one's on there because of that little mushroom. What's that little mushroom guy? He's a little penis. <laughs> so you like, got right to the point. Well, that's what. That's gonna, what. If you I, look at all those articles, that's what they're gonna say. I, so. I wasn't even gonna say that. It's supposed she to just, be PG thirteen. She just wants to know what's what up happened. With the, what happened hey, with our show? You swore earlier, so I thought we were just opening the door. <laughs> but anyway, um, Atlas. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be just as quirky and weird as you know all the other Atlas games. But yeah, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> play this probably um by the end of the month i'll let you guys know how it is yeah. um so there's that one cool cool and then uh another ds game uh atlas actually um cameron picked this up i showed it in one of the garage sale videos at uh his local game stop because it was like two dollars or less um and then another our buddy kurt who uh we talked about in past videos who uh has hooked us up with some cool display stuff and everything uh he has some empty boxes that he's been setting aside, and if we find the games for them, uh, he's been giving us a great deal on those. Bro and that, price. Bro price. And that is <laughs> Master of the Monster Lair, and I've seen this completed at a couple other stores, so I definitely got it for less than it goes for, um, even piecing it together. But it looks pretty cool. I'm glad to have that one in the collection. Yeah, so. this, let me look at this. I think I looked at this at one point at Frank's, too. Yes, it's, we've seen it at Forgotten yeah. Freshness, and I think Voltage has a copy, but this is <sighs> so GameStop. Games. This is one of the games that at GameStop is yeah. way, like, You know how you feel of it. about collecting PS1 games? I love collecting PS1 games, but that same feel, for me, is DS I know that games. feel. DS games are, like, my thing that I would love to have a complete DS collection. <sighs> That'd be a hard one. Yeah, but, but there's so many cool, unique games for the DS. Mm -hmm, you definitely. Know, games you don't really... I mean, honestly, before I went to Frank's, I never heard of this game, so... Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, actually, I think I first saw it there, too. And uh, DS is cool, because to me, it's kind of like if you took a Super Nintendo and a PS1 and combined it, and then made it portable. That's yeah. with all the games oh, around yeah, it, yeah. graphically, and, uh, you know, it's just pretty cool. So, that was our Atlas roundup for this yeah. month. I mean, there might be a few more. I don't I don't know that we uh, just catalog in pictures, but uh, definitely wanted to talk about these ones, so...
so now is the time in our video that we get to talk about gifts and yeah. stuff that people were kind enough to, to give us um, because we're awesome. And yeah, these are all things we're awesome that were given for free. You guys are awesome for giving us awesome things. And if, real quick, before you start, Mike, if anything we forgot to mention that you see, like, in a picture or something, we apologize. There was a lot of pickups this month. And... Yeah, and being the fact that we're just getting to it now, yeah. like, towards the end of September, it was we're hard trying to round everything up again. on what exactly we got, and I may have put some stuff away. And yeah, we redid the game room, and so, like, yeah. I, some things got shelved that normally would have been so, set aside, so. Feel free to correct apologize. us in the comments and be yeah, like, hey, guys, hey, I gave you me? that. Where's my street cred? <laughs> but. Well, so, we got these ones, so Mike, would um, you like to start? Did I say street cred? This is probably, I don't know. I'm being weird. Street anyway, card. so gifts that we street got. Card. Hey. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this guy's giving me attitude. Um, so freebies that I, uh, my pile of freebies um, that we got from an old co-worker that I used to work with at Target way back in the day. Um, Dave, you know who you are. Hooked us up with some boxes, as well as a cute little plushie. Um, I'll just get right to the boxes. Uh, first box was... I'm trying to hold them all at once. I don't think that's going to work. Just like, oh. Was the uh, special edition, or limited edition? Collector's uh, yep. edition, excuse me. Sorry. For Ocarina of Time. Really awesome. Um, it's shiny. It Gorgeous. honestly doesn't look much different than, you know... The other box, other than the shiny front side, I think the rest of it kind of looks the same. Yep. But it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's in great condition. Um, you can hold that. Next box was for F Zero X, um, which we didn't have. Did you have the box? No, we had that one, but, no, we didn't it, have this it, one, but I got it to do a little upgrade. Yes. Um, you know, this side's a little, a little crunched yeah, but in, but you know what? That's an easy the fix. The insert put in it'll be fine. Um, the rest of it, I'd say, is in pretty good condition. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yay! Um, last one here is perfect dark. Um, Less than perfect. Good condition, <laughs> except for that side. Yeah. But hey, we, you know, we are box known box for box, so. giving anything that would normally be trash a home. Exactly, in we'll, our we'll love so. it and care for it and raise it as if it's our own. <laughs> That's a little weird. So anyway, box Game for that. Baby. I'm mumbling. <laughs> and last gift, the little plushie I mentioned. Um, every home needs a sack boy, Definitely. especially the home of collectors, video yeah. game collectors. And this one's suffocating in a bag right now. So, <laughs> That's how we treat um, them. yeah, don't put your kids in these and don't put your <laughs> sack boys because then they're suffocating. Look at him. He's in pain. Now, I've seen other, uh, plushy sack boys, but this one specifically says that it's from Little Big Planet too. So I thought that was kind of cool that oh, yeah. this one came specific. We have a sack boy. We have an older somewhere. one somewhere, a smaller one, I believe. And then I've seen plastic versions of it before, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. so that was good. Thanks for showing us off, Meg. And now yeah. I'm gonna show a couple other freebies. Now. <laughs> a little uh, disheveled there. Depending the how we edit this, you'll know why I'm laughing. Yeah. Oh, you'll see why. why <laughs> so, anyway, I was about to say before I uh, biffed it. <laughs> hey, no fair. So, anyway. Continuing on. <clears throat> so, kind, uh, our kind friend Kevin Fox, uh, who's helped us out with some cool stuff in Pleasure the past. Pleasure of freebies in the it's hard to say. No, that's the TVs. Now we've had this game. I don't know why I opened it off screen. Um, we had this game, but we didn't have the special edition of it, and so he gave gave us all of the contents except for the game, so we could just slap, slap our game in it, and now it's complete. And that is Soul Calibur Five, and uh, it's pretty cool because it looks like a book, which I believe the Fable special edition we have, Fable Three special edition, is like that. <laughs> She's still laughing, and. <laughs> all right. uh, here is a uh, little, I think it's a making of DVD, and then the game. And then there's an awesome art book, and it's got like a crushed red velvet thing in there. It's all fuzzy. It's all crushed. It's all fuzzy. Like that chair, it's crushed. <laughs> there's a... Oh, and then in the art book. Soundtrack, I was going to say, you don't want to forget that. In the art book... Um, it's upside um, down. Megan knows how to read. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, and look at what you opened up to. The hidden character, or not hidden, but the secret character That's in the you. game that uh, they Spoiler always Spoiler alert. Well, uh, it's advertised, so. <laughs> no, so, not really. pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, nah. but look at that. Yeah. I so, love art books and, so and cool games. That's another really special edition to have. Thank cool you. thing I like. Thank you for that, Kevin. And then, uh, this one, actually, I guess it wasn't 100% free. Uh, I traded him a few games that I had uh, for this. Just some, like, uh, doubles or commons and uh, he needed and uh, this game particularly the reason he uh, let me have it is I mentioned how oh, I've been looking for this and everything and he was kind enough to go oh you know what we'll work something out so that way you can get it so I really appreciate this one Kevin and the game is PN03 product number three and it's a really cool game for the GameCube it's uh, kind of like a action-y game I don't know like I honestly kind of. I've heard of it but I know very little about it yeah, it's you it's told really me cool. something about the girl dances or does the girl does these like sassy moves sassy. throughout it. So it's kind of like but reminds moves. me of Bayonetta, um, in the character, but not as over the top and uh, not really, as naked and not as naked. But um, <laughs> she's got a form fitting outfit and does uh, seductive Ooh. dances while while shooting. And it's kind of like Saucy. very simple and arcadey. It almost I, I know it got a lot of mixed reviews because of the simplicity, but that's kind of what makes it cool to me. It's almost like a shmup, but you play as a person instead of a that's cool a, a uh, ship so it was pretty cool and shmup is shoot short for shoot 'em up for those who don't know i probably use that term that's way too often but people might know but if not and i do where does so, she shoot from guns or is she like a fembot she shoots from her butt she turns around and parts <laughs> no it's a it's a pretty cool game though i'm really glad to have that so thank you kevin and uh the last uh gift is actually a pity gift it was pretty funny <laughs> We were at our friend uh, Pat Milligan's. He had a party the weekend that the oh Lake God, Brothers were here. So great. And this game, I actually played it the Genesis version of this growing up a lot. My sister had it, and I enjoyed it, even though it's a flawed game. It's super I love classic for me. The name of this game, and she loves so the name because it's a bad much. pun. Um, well, the first game was a bad pun. This was the sequel to the first game. The I game is that. James Pond, code name Robocod. As you can see, it's sealed. So. I wanted this because I was like, I saw it in his pile of games he had at his house, and I don't know if he was planning on selling it or if he just was ashamed to even have this game in his house, but uh, I looked at it, and I when I, it was the latter. I asked him, I said, hey Pat, uh, how much for this game? And he looked at me and he goes, just take it. <laughs> and it was so funny because it was like, he just was like, just why do you, uh, oh no, that's what he said, he goes, why do you want it? <laughs> just take it. and But I have actual uh, classic memories of this game. And I'm sure this port is even worse because the colors look very washed out on the pictures and it's not it's the cardboard. James Pond. But it's James Pond, codename Robocod. But it's kind of a fun <laughs> game because you stretch. You are like wear this robotic suit and you can stretch and then grab the ceiling and bring yourself up. So uh, it's got some cool ideas, but it's definitely a subpar platformer compared to like Mario or Sonic or something like that. So, But... Anyway, thanks, Pat, even though it's uh, yeah. kind of lame. Did you so. like my bubble rendition of the James Bond? It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Six out of ten. But <laughs> Better than this game. Oh!
Megan is going to once again show off something that we got when the yes. Lake Brothers were here. Um, I've Instagrammed it. Um, I've told a bunch of people about it already. So most of you know... But if you have Probably the next thing I'm going to show. This is a biggie that I've wanted to get for a while. Um, Very long time. I didn't just want it because of the collectability of it and the hype around it and all this stuff. I actually played the game a couple years ago. Or a year ago? A year ago, know. about. Yeah. Um, absolutely fell in love with it. And I just had to have it. Um, even though I bought it off, you know, the Nintendo eShop or... Yeah, virtual console. Virtual console. Brain died there. Um, I wanted to have a physical, actual, real copy of it. So, between Nate's efforts and us going through our collection, finding other things to trade, whatnot... Um, this was paid for in trade. This, Yeah. Um, very little of this was actually paid for with our own money. Um, and I'll get right to it. <sighs> Like the that. one, the only Earthbound. I love this game. I know some of you watching, some of my friends don't really dig it. Or over, kind of I think it's overrated. It. Um, I, think it's I love the quirkiness of it. I think it's adorable. It's charming. The music's fantastic. The characters, you know, are memorable. Mm -hmm. It's such a fantastic game, and I'm so, so happy to finally have this in my collection. Again, not just because, oh, it's a collector's piece, you know, hey, if you're into video game collecting, you have to have this game. You know, I actually legitimately yep. really, really love this game. And the game's so. not really rare. It's just sought after. I mean, I've yeah. seen so much. I've seen way more of that game than other games yeah. that are sought um, after. So, but the awesomeness didn't stop there. So, you know, I got this game. Um, I would eventually like to complete it. Um, one of my friends was able to help me out with that. Uh, the next step in the completion process of this game uh, was from a friend of ours, Frank, not the same Frank that owns Forgotten Freshness, yes, but a different Frank. we have lots Frank. of Frank friends. He also <laughs> very much loves this this game. Um, and he was willing to do something really super awesome and sweet mm -hmm. to help kind of bring this completion process exactly. together. He had a copy of the <sighs> manual, um, manual slash strategy guide. guide. It's 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 been loved. It's had a little love to it. It's not like, you know brand new shape but it's well enough it's good enough for me yeah um, and he gave us such a good price he gave us a phenomenal deal on he could have you know went on ebay and been like how's oh, it going for all right totally yeah five bucks off no this. he gave us a significant discount you know, on because he wanted us to have it because he wanted us to have it and i will cherish it and i will love it forever yes. frank thank you, you so thank much you. Um, so now you hyped up that game have, before we owned it and before we played yeah, it yeah so not gonna lie dude like your love of that game you. and the fact that you always talked about it Kind of you and a couple other reasons, but mainly you kind of pushed me. I just want to play it. Play it. it. Yeah, so I now have. Look at that. Two thirds of Earthbound for Snap. And sense. strategy, and you know, I'm going to get that box someday. Got to get that someday. But here's the, what's cool about Frank's generosity is it didn't stop there. I mentioned that I didn't have a certain other game, one that I had talked about recently on Sprite Lovers because I had been playing it on the Rare Replay. But I never had the original cart of it, and he happened to have this as well. And so he goes, what? And he goes, well, I'll sell you mine. And once again, he could have gotten so much more for this. Could have made bank. But, and he knew. He knew it goes for a lot. I told him. Um, but he gave us a great price. So actually the same price for you gave us this. So mm -hmm. um, great to have this in the collection, especially now that I've played it and really liked it. And that is Conker's Bad Fur Day. So we'll go for this complete at some point. Yeah. But um, great but to have the cart. to actually have that. In our collection. Yeah, having to buy or trade for this now would have been a, a big expense, so to have yeah. the car out of the way is awesome. So, so Frank, your generosity you does not go unnoticed. Thank Thanks, you, buddy. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I'll be an armrest for when you want to play games. I'll just sit here and. Ooh, yeah. That well, could yeah, work. see, it works. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so this is the uh, end of our pickup video. Uh, like we said earlier, late, but uh, still got some cool things Better to show off. Better late than never. Better no. late than never, and yeah, definitely a lot of stuff. You can see from the uh, stuff that we didn't actually talk about, there was just a ton of things filling in our collection on like almost every platform. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff found uh, at garage sales, a lot of stuff found for the 
end of the summer sale at Micro Game, which helped out for mm -hmm. PS2 and Wii and stuff. Um, so definitely boosting our Wii collection. Um, oh, that's something yeah. we've been collecting a lot because you can get a lot of 89 cent games now. And so there's a lot of shovelware, games. but there's also some games that aren't like really awful that are kind of unique. Yeah. My, the Wii kind of reminds me of PS2 in a way because there's a lot of PS2 ports and there's a lot of like stuff that gets missing within the shovelware. And so. games that are so bad, I mean, you have to at least play them for the, the laugh. Oh yes, definitely got some factor, stuff like know. that. So, But uh, that was it, and uh, you'll see another jam-packed month next month, because yes, September month already is going to be dope. But, uh, so yep. stay tuned for that episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching this episode, and until next time, guys. See ya. See ya.